So in this integration question, we have sin 4x in the numerator and sin x in the denominator. We will use the trigonometric identities to simplify this question. Now one trigonometric identity is sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x cos x. But in the numerator we have sin 4x. So we can replace this 2x by 4x. That means we are multiplying the angle by 2. We are making the angle double. So when we make it double, it becomes sin 4x. So on the right hand side also, the angle becomes double. So this becomes 2 sin 2x cos 2x. Now we can replace the numerator by 2 sin 2x cos 2x. And in the denominator, we have sin x dx. Again, we make use the same identity. Sin 2x can be written as 2 sin x cos x. So this becomes 2 into 2 sin x cos x and we have cos 2x and in the denominator we have sin x which gets cancelled with sin x in the numerator. So we can take 1 to outside the integral and 2 cos a cos b 2 cos x cos 2x dx. Now we have one identity of 2 cos a cos b. 2 cos a cos b is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. Now instead of a we have x and instead of b we have 2x. So when we apply this identity we get cos a plus b means x plus 2x which is 3x plus cos a minus b means x minus 2x which is minus x. Now cos is an even function. So cos of minus x is cos x only. So we can replace this cos minus x by cos x only. So our integral is 2 integral cos 3x plus cos x dx. Now we can directly take the integral. Integral of cos is sine. Integral of cos x is sin x. So uh, in the first term we have cos 3x. So integral of cos 3x will be sin 3x. But since there is the angle is 3x instead of x, so coefficient of x3 will come in the denominator. We can also do substitution method in this case by taking 3x is equal to t. But why take the longer route when we can apply it directly? So this becomes sin 3x and coefficient of x3 will come in the denominator and integral of cos x is sin x plus c. So our final answer is 2 divided by 3 sin 3x plus 2 sin x plus c.